Two things to think about every time you go to vote. How your money is impacted and laws you have to follow. One of the biggest races this year is between Ted Budd and Kathy Manning for the 13th Congressional District seat. The winner of that race will impact your money and the laws for the next two years. Tonight, WFM News 2's Erica Stapleton and Maddie Gardner have a closer look at both candidates. I'm covering the campaign of the Republican incumbent Representative Ted Budd. And I'm tracking his Democratic opponent, Kathy Manning. Now, this is an important race to watch because the 13th Congressional District contains some triad counties, including parts of Guilford, Davie, and Davidson, as well as Iredell and Rowan. And it's also a race that's getting national attention as Democrats try and take back control of Congress over the Republican Party. So here's what's happening in the race right now. Representative Ted Budd, who lives in Davie County, took the House seat in the 2016 election. Budd owns a gun shop in Forsyth County and ran as a political outsider two years ago. It's a point he's still emphasizing in this year's election. Kathy Manning, who lives in Greensboro, is new to politics as well, with a background practicing immigration law in North Carolina. She's also involved as a philanthropist and volunteer for several Greensboro projects, including the Tanger Center for Performing Arts, which is under construction right now. But is running on the promise to take on political insiders while also decreasing federal involvement in North Carolina's economy. He also says he plans to keep addressing the opioid crisis in Congress. Recently, he helped pass the Support Act to promote opioid recovery and treatment. One of Manning's biggest talking points is health care, calling out Big Pharma for taking advantage of families. She vows to fight for affordable health care, along with local job creation and education so people can get those jobs. We're also tracing the money these candidates are getting. Bud's campaign has raised more than a million dollars and its top donors right now, leadership political action committees, commercial banks like Bank of America, and Club for Growth, a conservative group focused on cutting taxes. At this point, Manning has outraised Bud, coming in close to $2 million. Her biggest contributors are Emily's List, a pro-choice PAC group, and Alphabet Inc., Google's parent company. Data shows a majority of Manning's donors come from out of state, with about 45% coming from North Carolina. The same data shows 70% of Bud's donations are in state. There are four people in this race, Ted Budd, Kathy Manning, Tom Bailey, the Libertarian candidate, and Robert Corrier from the Green Party. And we also want to hear from you. What questions do you have about this campaign? You can find us on social media. Just search Maddie Gardner News or Erica Stapleton on Facebook.